Oh, that little beer. So, for me, for me, kill yourself, me, bitch. Error. Kill away. Oh, my, 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 so this movie that I'm reviewing today is titled Mommy, like you just saw, it's a Nigerian Yoruba English movie produced in 2012. So if you want to hear more about this movie, see what I'm saying, okay? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Hi guys, welcome back. So this movie was fantastic. It would have been great time if it could have been amazing. It could have been exceptional. But it was it was a really really good movie. I enjoyed it. That's why I'm giving it a nine over ten. The movie features Funke Akindele, Wale Ojo, Tami Lore, Kupoye, Ayomide, Abati, and there were special appearances by Olumide Bakare. Fatai Rolling Dollar, Kaede Balogun, Inka Davis, and some other people. This movie was about a Bakla woman and the struggles she went through in trying to bring up her child, her son, named Kashmawo. Kashmawo eventually grew up and became a mega footballer in Nigeria who played for Arsenal. And so the story was about his growing up and his struggles in becoming who he was. I thought the movie was really really good i love the production the production was like amazing you know they went back in the days they used they used sets that were just perfect they used their, their the the locations that they used was very very good i thought the production was just fantastic the sound quality the picture quality of points they their attention to detail was also very good i love that i mean things i have not seen in ages do you remember um Dustin powder, the black and white Dustin powder, whatever. I've not seen that in ages. I saw that in this movie, and I was just like, oh my gosh, you know. So they really paid attention to detail, and I thought that was amazing. Now the directing was 80% of this movie. The movement of the camera, the transitioning of the scenes, you know, the way, the way the actors and actresses moved with the camera, like they were in sync. The camera was where it was supposed to be at the right time. I think today, Tony Kilani is just a mastermind in directing the movie. He did such a great job in this movie. Now, Funke Akinele was exceptional. She was a star in the movie. She did so great. Like, you can see, I'm excited about it. She did so great. Like, she, she, her characterization of the role was out of this world. Every time you think you've seen her at her best, you know, she surpasses the barrier, you know, and she did. A great job in this movie. The way she would tie a rapper, what she would do, the way I mean, she she was she was good. Okay, young Kashmawo was okay. Child actor just coming up. He was okay. One little Joe who played older Kashmawo. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't you know mind blowing, but it was good. I have never seen him. I think he won Amazon Motor Box Office, and I've never seen him act. So I'm hoping to see more of him, so I can really say what kind of actor he is. But it was, it was, it also did well. Also did well in the movie. Now I think that's about as much as I loved about the movie. All that put together made the movie really, really good. However, the movie started out a lot slower than I would have expected. It was really slow in picking up before it got to the climax, you know, here and there, and then there was just some tiny details here and there, like the way it would transition. Like initially, it took me a while to get adjusted to the back and forth, back and forth, because we were going back between the present and the past. So it was the way they were transitioning initially wasn't too good, but I caught up to it eventually. The way I thought the way they used um, your back here and there was really good. It made the movie a lot more indigenous and made me appreciate the movie a lot more. But overall, you know, I'm still giving the movie a nine over ten. But I just feel like there, there was a lot in the movie that we didn't get to see. I feel like the story could have been developed a lot better than it was. I feel like there were some scenes that could have been cut out and more put in. I, I just, I, I wanted more from the movie than I got, pretty much. But overall, it was still a very, very good movie. I enjoyed it. Another great work from uh, Mr. Tine Kilani. Now, I paid $6 to watch this movie. <laughs> yes, 6 So. Do you or do I advise you to go pay six dollars for it? Let me think. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I don't know if I'll pay six dollars to watch it a second time. Ah, uh, I don't know. 
you decide that's your choice you want to know where i was to just ask but um i paid six dollars for it you want to wait till it gets to dvd shake it <laughs> all right that's it for this movie you know i love coming to you guys to review every time and i hope you guys love it i miss you guys and i'm happy to be back i love you guys Mwah. have a great week god bless you <laughs> bye bye Hmm.